Welcome to the Happiness Podcast. I'm Dr. Robert Puff. Most likely, if we're listening to this podcast, we're into improving our lives, making our lives better, and just having an overall better experience while we're here on planet Earth. We probably believe there are things that we can do to make our lives better and things that we can do to make our lives worse. For example, coming home and drinking two bottles of wine or a bottle of vodka every night, we probably would realize it's not very good for us. However, coming home and meditating and perhaps going for a run or doing some yoga are things that we could do to improve our lives. These things make sense. But I do think there's something that really confounds us. We often know what to do that is good for us, but we just don't do it. For example, physiologically, I think all of us agree that keeping our weight down is a good thing to do. It's healthy, it keeps us healthy, we feel good about ourselves, Yet so many people around the world struggle with this. They don't have time to exercise, they don't like it, or even though they know it's good for them, they just don't do it. Same way with eating. We know that eating healthy fruits and vegetables that are alive are very good for us. But those french fries, those burgers, those other things are just so attractive that we often don't do it. Why is that? I know there may be a lot of factors, genetics, where we live, the environment, But one of the key factors is, which I want to talk about today, is kindness. Kindness towards ourselves. If we want to improve, we have to be kind. Let me explain. Let's say someone finishes university and they were very active when they were in school. They may have even been participating in sports. But when they finished university, they got into work, they started a family, and they just got busy. So in the process of, say, 10, 15 years, they put on, say, an extra 5, 10 pounds a year, and now, let's say, they're 100 pounds overweight. That's a lot of extra weight. And if other people were to look at them and say, you're a fat slob, what's wrong with you? That would not encourage them to lose weight. It would probably make them feel horrible about themselves, and that horrible feeling would create a self-fulfilling prophecy. Well, everyone tells me I'm a fat slob, so I must be, so I'm just going to eat, because that's what fat slobs do. Now, we may think of that, well, people don't do that. Rarely would someone shame someone else for their weight or something else that they're not good at. But the truth of it is, we shame ourselves all day long, in sometimes really horrible ways. Yes, no one else may say a word, but we are having an internal dialogue going on all day long. And that internal dialogue, when it's shameful, when it's hurtful, it does not encourage or promote any self-improvement. If anything, it keeps us stuck and it makes us worse. And it really makes sense if you think about it. Let's say, for example, for whatever reason, we weren't able to go to university after we finished high school. And now we're in our 30s and we want to go back. We want to learn. We want to get a degree and improve ourselves. If our dearest friends around us were saying, you're a stupid idiot, you could never do that, you might as well quit, what's wrong with you? That would not be very encouraging, of course. But the question to ask ourselves is, what are we saying to ourselves? If we say these hurtful, shameful things, it's not going to create self-improvement at all. If anything, it will keep us stuck or even make us worse. But let's say we go back to school in our 30s and 40s and all our friends are so proud of us, They think we're awesome, they give us lots of encouragement, they even do things to help us, but every day or regularly they reach out to us sending us encouraging notes. That's gonna be, wow, super helpful and keep us going. And it's the same way with ourselves. If we, throughout the day, as we're trying to improve ourselves, give ourselves encouraging, positive, supportive words, then what will happen is we will much more likely complete our goals, reach our goals, and probably feel a lot better about ourselves in the process. So for example, when I was growing up, my father was my best cheerleader when it came to academic performance. He felt I was smart. He always encouraged me. He said, Robert, get as much schooling as you can. It's really good for you. And with that encouragement, I took it on. I went to school after I finished high school for 14 straight years and I actually really liked it. I wasn't tired, I wasn't exhausted, and I had a blast. It was a lot of fun because I had those encouraging words from my father, but I took them on. When I had challenges along the way or I met people that had a lot more academic experience than I did, 
because I had grown up in Iowa in just a regular high school, and some of them had gone to some of the top prep schools in the world, I didn't give up. I didn't say, well, they're so much smarter, or they had a lot better training than I did. I just kept working at it, and I realized, oh, I can do as well, and even better than some of them, because I didn't give up, and I had a lot of self-encouragement coming towards me. I thought I was good at school. I enjoyed it. I made that my focus, and I kept going at it. And I really did enjoy those 14 years. And after I finished, I kept learning, but now it's far more independent, my studies. But if you know me, I love to learn things and I'm constantly gathering new information about life and the universe. I find it fascinating, but it comes through kindness. I was never critical of myself. I didn't attack myself for doing poorly. If I struggled or wasn't as good as someone else at first, I said, you can do this, just keep trying. You'll get as good as they are. You may even get better than they are. And that's what I found. Those encouraging words kept me going and kept me in the game. And the key of life is if we want to improve our lives, not necessarily academically, but say emotionally, like let's say, for example, we're not the happiest camper on the block. And we know that, but we want to be happier because that's important to us. So we start studying things about what happy people do. How do their lives work well? And then we say, okay, I'm going to start implementing that. I'm going to start regularly exercising. I hear that's good for being happy. I'm going to meditate. I know that's good for being happy. I'm going to surround myself with positive people. I hear that works too. And again, when we mess up, when we don't do it right, we say, it's okay. Tomorrow's a new day. Encouragement and kindness are wonderful. We all know how great it feels from another person. But the person we hear from all day long is ourselves. So we have to be aware of what are we saying to ourselves when we're trying to improve ourselves? Are we hearing words of encouragement? Like, you can do that. Don't give up. You got this. Are we hearing words like, what are you thinking? You're idiotic. You can't do this. You might as well quit. Words matter. And kindness really is cool. But it's especially cool when we aim it at ourselves. I know I talk a lot about kindness in this podcast because it's just critical and pivotal to our level of happiness. The kinder we are, the happier we're going to be. But what we often forget is that kindness isn't just towards other people. It has to be towards ourselves. Even if we mess up a thousand times, we're still kind. We can learn from it. We can grow. We're not excusing our behavior. We're just saying, I'm going to get better at this. I know I keep messing up, but I'm going to just keep working at this and working at this until I get better at this. And whatever that may be, we can. We can improve until our last dying breath. That's the wonderful thing about self-improvement. If we work on ourselves, the amount of things we can work on are fairly endless. We can just keep getting better. We can get kinder. We can get wiser. I mean, wise people are often old people. And if we realize that, we can say, oh, as I get older, yeah, my health may not be as good, but I can be wiser if I work at it. So we can grow to be that wise sage, helping other people struggling in their lives. But the way we're going to get there, the way we're going to keep improving our lives is through kindness. So, the way we do that is first, being aware, what are we hearing in our heads all day long? That's the first, most important thing we have to do. What are we doing, one, when we're trying to improve ourselves, and when we mess up, when we're trying to improve ourselves, what do we hear? Do we hear words like, that's okay, keep going, don't give up, you're new at this, you'll get better, or are we hearing, what are you thinking, you're an idiot, Stop doing this. You can never do this. Words matter. So once we're aware of what words we're giving ourselves, we need to make the choice of kindness. When we're kind towards ourselves, we're going to improve. We're going to do so much better. It just makes sense. And if we try it, we really work on saying, okay, I'm going to just work on saying encouraging, positive things to myself. What we'll find is, self-improvement will be so much easier and effective. The way we do this is when we notice that we're saying unkind things towards ourselves, we stop and say, this is not helpful. 
I am only going to say kind things towards myself, and then we start saying them. It may seem like we're just repeating phrases, but if we say things like, you got this, you can do this, I'm so proud of you, keep it up, they really work. They're awesome. You may have to at first force it, but the forcing it will become a habit with time. You'll get good at it. We get so much better at things when we create good habits and kindness habit towards ourselves is probably one of the best habits we can create in our lives because when we're kind when we're trying to improve it's so much more encouraging so let us all this week really work on being kind towards ourselves and when we are choosing to improve ourselves whatever it may be let's look for those encouraging positive phrases that we can give ourselves that we may force at first and repeat in our head throughout the day like i can do this i got this i'm proud of myself for not giving up hearing that over and over again and when we do mess up we say well tomorrow's a new day i'm going to just keep doing this till i get this because i can get this these type of phrases these kind supportive words will create self-improvement and as we keep improving our lives will keep getting better because the truth is as i so often say we can all have beautiful lives it just takes work and one of the best tools of working on having beautiful lives is kindness thank you for joining me on the happiness podcast if you'd like to learn more about the podcast please go to happinesspodcast.org and until next time accept what is love what is